Yes, people, what's going on? Hope you're all good. Reacting now to the uh, the annoying Dolphins loss, 11 to 21 on the first week of the NFL. Game one, we start with a 0 1 record against the New England Patriots, the old rival. And uh, there's no way you can say it. Simply put, it's a, it's hella annoying. It's really hella annoying. Um, we didn't play that well. It was a decent defensive performance from both sides, to be fair. Um, but, I mean, it was an elite QB that pretty much won the game for them. Um, the one problem that we had is I think a lot of people knew how we were going to play. We Our offense from this well, from last year to this year hasn't changed that drastically. We had somewhat of a run game, but weirdly that didn't come through our two new prize assets. That came from Miles Gaskin, who was there last year. And even Laird, to be fair, who got involved every now and again. It was just really, really annoying of a game, I must be honest, because we were very simple to play against, but we had absolutely no idea what we were up against in Cam Newton and the Patriots. It could have been absolutely anything. Turns out, they're a bloody good team. They are a really, really good team. And we just happened to be the ones that walked into that trap. Um, there's no other way you can say it, really. There Honestly, there's no other way you can say it. We were just the unfortunate ones that had to go to Foxborough, had to go to Gillette, in the first week and play against an, a, a sleeping giant, pretty much. It sounds a bit nuts, obviously, because they've been around for so long. Um, but give Bill Belichick a new QB, a new toy, and he's going to use it. He's going to use it. Um, I actually didn't think they were that good. I must be honest. You know, he didn't. Th Cam didn't throw the ball at all, but he could run. Um, but you could just see the way he was mouthing off and absolutely everything. You know, it's part of the game. It's you know, the gamesmanship. I rate it. But you could see that all, the only thing he wanted to do, he wanted to make it all about him and run the ball. But you still can't stop it. The guy is so powerful. The guy is so big. It's just a nightmare to have to play against. And as much as I'm like, oh, yeah, we did well and we did this and we did that, it doesn't actually help the fact that we really, really were no... We were never really in the game. I'm not going to lie. We come back. Obviously, we made it a three-point game. I was really happy about that. You know, with um, with RTD, I was, you know, chill. I'm all good. You know, obviously, being run in, it's... Simple enough TD. We were very lucky with a couple of penalties that went our way. And then we go for the two-point conversion. And old old school Fitzmagic comes out of nowhere. Throws her on a little fake and then heads back the other side of the end zone. I was really happy about that. But it still doesn't take away the fact that in the game, we were not good enough. We were not good enough for large chunks of the game. Again, our defense kept us in it. Um, I mean, I think... How many times did Wilkins get to him? I think Wilkins ended up getting to Cam about three times. Jerome Baker hit him an absolute beauty in the first half. And it was just fantastic to watch from that particular perspective. But, I mean, Byron Jones was all right. Howard, Xavier Howard was okay. Igbenogamy was all right, okay. That's, that's fine. You know, Bobby McCain had to be fair had a couple of good hits. But Jerome Baker, for me, was our, you know, our MVP, our man of the match, I would say. Um... And again, even he had some imperfections, you know. We are still a young team. We are moving in the right direction. And I'm not going to say that the season's gone already and we're going to throw it away. I'm not going to rant and rave about it. But, I'm, I, of course, I'm annoyed because you've seen a lot of you've seen a lot of uh, money put into this team. You know, Carl Van Noy, who I thought was okay today, but he didn't actually do enough long, you know, it, it, throughout the long scheme of things. He had a couple of good plays here and there. But he wasn't, like, stand out like he should be the highest paid this. And especially Byron Jones. Again... They didn't really target him. The the the, uh, the passing game for them was pretty much non-existent. But even when it did, I wasn't fussed. I wasn't like, oh my God, we've signed this generational talent. And that's probably because it's good scripting from them. This good game management. But I, I just wanted to see a little bit more. You know, I just wanted to see a little bit more. Keep yourself in the game. We're going in the right direction. And obviously, Ryan Fitzpatrick is not the guy for the future. That's going to be Tua. And one of our main toys that we've got now to play with is not still in the team. Um, but to be fair, the offensive line, we had somewhat of a run game when Gaskins came in. Um, so they did okay. The defensive line obviously got to it. They did, to be fair, they actually did get to Cam Newton. Um, but with the size, with the athleticism, it's almost as if you're playing against Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, for any football fans out, soccer fans out there. You know, you, you can cater for him absolutely every way possible, but he'll find that little five yards of space. And once he gets that five yards of space, you don't know where he's going to end up. It was just one of those things for the Dolphins. I'm not happy about it, of course, but it is what it is. We've lost. Do you know what I mean? We've lost to one of the best teams in it. 
And as much as I don't like it, I do have to accept it because unfortunately that's just where the Dolphins are. But there we are. That's just my little reaction from the uh, from the game. If you are new around here, please do subscribe. If you're coming over from my old channel, Craigo Twenty Eight Football, then please do subscribe from that as well. My old channel, my first my my first channel, yeah, my main channel. Um, yeah, subscribe to this new channel. Please do support it. I, I've done a live. Uh, a live stream as well for the game so please do support that i'm going to hopefully try and do as many as i can throughout the next couple of weeks and over the next few months for the dolphins as well but yeah not happy overall but i, I can live with it. it it's annoying i don't like it but it's just one of those things we happen to be the first team to walk into a sleeping giant and we paid the price for it you know what more what more can you say anyway guys thanks for watching if you're new around here please do subscribe and uh, i'll see you soon for loads more fins content cheers guys